first day of testimony, Judge Sylvia James was asked to explain, essentially to justify why she broke the rules in her handling of money collected in a controversial alternative work program. When Judge Sylvia James sentenced people that came in her courtroom to community service, as she explained in her testimony today, her staff kept them very busy. Community service uh, workers actually built the detective bureau. They put in a floor at the police department. The problem, according to the Judicial Tenure Commission complaint, is that the co-director of that community service program was James' niece, Nicole James, and two other people who already had salaries and full-time job assignments in the court. Yet, Judge James paid them extra stipends, hundreds per month, thousands per year for what James considered extra work. She considered them outside contractors and paid them out of the community service program fund without taking out taxes that the rules say should only go to the program itself. Deb Green, the regional director of the state court administrator's office that covers the Inkster court has testified that a lot of money spent out of that program went to Inkster area charities, schools and the like where there were ample opportunities to post her name and her picture. In other words, to promote Judge Sylvia James. Is your signature on that check? Yes. What is the amount? $100. On the memo line, what does it say? Advertisement slash newspaper. It's a process where Judge Sylvia James has the opportunity to answer verbally questions, allegations that she's already answered in writing. Will it be enough? Only one person will judge what she has to say. In Dearborn Heights, Bill Proctor, 7 Action News.